Well, my friends, the time has finally come. The much-awaited tournament of champions. Wow. So uh, the, uh, the club men are definitely not the champions of this intro. But if you remember, we were going to do a tournament of duo present throwers. That's right. They're going to spawn things. Oh, wow. There were two things that came out of those. Why were there two things that came out of those? I don't really know. I feel like I need to try that again. Yeah. Okay. And then, oh, yeah. There's two things that popped out of each one. And they were both... <laughs> How did, how did we get so lucky to get two Blackbeards out of that? I'm not sure. But before I get into making the new units that you guys suggested, and I'd like to thank a game called World of Warships for sponsoring this video. If you guys don't know what it is, it is a free-to-play naval combat game where you take control of one of over 300 different historical ships as you use different strategies and different tactics to destroy your enemies. One of my favorite things to do in this game is outfitting and customizing my ships with different flags, camouflages, modifications, and even leveling up my crew members to make the most powerful ship possible. Now I know what you're probably thinking. Games like these take a long time to level up, take a long time to grind your way through the tech trees. But thankfully today, by using the invite code BOOM, all new players get 200 doubloons, two ships, the St. Louis and the premium ship Emden, 20 restless fire camouflages, 2.5 million credits, and seven days of premium time. That's right, you get an upgraded account and a bunch of free time to play the game on your own. So if that sounds like a good idea, make sure you use that link down below in the video description to download World of Warships for free and to get a whole bunch of real good items to begin your campaign. So now, let's get back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Now in the last video, I did give you guys the opportunity to give me custom factions to begin this battle. So I'm going to be making eight different factions using the suggestions you guys gave. The first one might be my favorite, might be my absolute favorite. This one, this one's the pickles, the pickle kings. Do the pickle kings need pants? I feel like that's a question we don't really need to answer, <laughs> but I love it. <laughs> the pickle kings. My vote is that the pickle kings will win. Now, Felix says that we need the wobbly, no, I can't even spell, warriors. Yes, and they're going to be wobbly, just, just straight up, just straight up wobblers. Okay, is there anything? Should we make them? Should we make them warriors, Felix? I guess. I feel like that's a pretty good representation of what a wobbly warrior would be. That looks that looks really good. Not gonna lie. Except for the whole idea of its pants. Yeah. You know what? We don't need pants. Wobbly warrior wears the kilt. Next up is the spooky, scary skeletons. I feel like there's a song that goes along with that. But they're stiffies. I think we should give them something else too. Like, should we give them a hat? Like, there's that one hat that's like a candle or something, right? Yeah, the head candle. I don't know why, but I feel like that's appropriate. You know what else I want to give them? Oh, I can't. I can't give them claws and junk. Because claws are considered weapons. All right. Well, we got the spooky, scary skeletons. And I like Jackson's idea. I like it a lot. Because basically, I don't have to do anything different. All I need to do is just edit this guy slightly. Because we can make the Christmas Crushers. I need to give them elf ears, though. How do I give them elf ears? No, those aren't those aren't elf ears. That's like furry ears. No thanks. Why is elf not? I know they're in here. I've seen ears before. Those aren't. That's not quite elf ears. That's not either. See, there's vampire ears, but he makes them blind. Speaking of blind, that's creepy. I found a different hat. It seems more fitting. Is that elf ears? No, that's that's a toucan. Toucan beak. That's walrus mouth. <laughs> Why is there a walrus mouth in the game? I didn't see that there's an actual... Oh, no. We got to put this on the pickle people. No, nope, pickles. That's cactus, not pickle. Never mind. Okay, so there aren't ears. Oh, look, a pumpkin. I kind of wish that the vampire hair would work. Doesn't make much sense, though. Let's see if I can put eyes on top of it. Okay, that's just awkward. There, it's a bionic eye. Nope. Sorry, elf ears. You're gone. So the pumpkin punchers, I'm assuming the pumpkin punchers need the pumpkin helmet. Because why not? Is there any, is there a pumpkin? No. Okay, how do we make pumpkin? What is that? A banner? Sure, that's cool. I'm not going to use it though. I feel like we need to make him spooky. How's that look? Like a tattered dress thing? That's kind of spooky. The banshee dress? I like that. So Busted says that red is always sus. So that gives me the idea, why don't we make a faction from Among Us, right? We already did that kind of once with the astronaut helmet and then like the wetsuit. And then we can just change all the color to red. There, 
It looks like he's in Among Us. I like that. I feel like we need to change the Christmas crunchers a little bit. Crushers. I gotta change the present back to a present. No, no, no. I said I changed the present to a... There. See, now that's better. Exoflame says to do the Mandalobular, which is the Mandalorian, obviously. Somebody has made Mandalorians in here, which look absolutely amazing. I don't know which one to use, though, like you. This is really cool. But the thing is, I don't think that I can actually change it. So I'm gonna have to try to figure out how to do this on my own. Creativity is not my strong suit, but I tell you what, that actually turned out pretty good. I need to change that belt different color, like so and such as that. I like that. Got little pistols on the side. Yeah, kind of Blitz's budget version of the Mandalorian. And Rumi says we need the Bumbles, if I can spell. There we go. The wizard themed team. I like that idea. There's something satisfying about making wizards in games. Should we do the Gandalf beard? I think I think that's legit. There, how's that look? Gandalf the wizard with his black belt. So I thought it would be interesting if we go onto that new snow map that was introduced to the game. Well, they removed it and you actually have to find it now and it's right back here. We got the snow globe that doesn't really look like a snow globe. And then we get the farmer snow map, which is this map with a snowy version of it. Now, this might be a bad idea, but we're going to go with it. We're going to change the line. We're going to edit the line. We're going to go over on this side of the map right down here. We'll go back and forth on this and we will begin the tournament. So this is a duo tournament. That means we will have two people on each side. First off will be Bumbles versus the Pickle Kings, which I really like. Oh, this map looks so cool. So let's let the battle begin. <gasps> okay. Are these guys, what are they gonna throw out? I'm so excited. I'm so, I'm like a, I'm like a puppy that gets a new toy. Yeah. Okay. Ready? And oh, 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 no way. Oh, the super boxer. The pickle king is going strong to begin the battle. Only, oh, a raptor, a raptor and a peasant. Did you call it a raptor and a peasant to go against a super boxer? Oh, the super boxer just knocked out the raptor with one punch. They are holding nothing back. And he's going right in. He's going right in. Is he going to knock him off the map? Boom! Oh, that was fantastic. The Pickle Kings know how to start the party. Next up, we have the Wobbly Warriors versus the Spooky Scary Skeletons. Who shall win this victory? I really like these guys. Oh, I forgot to change their, their cloak. Ah, I was going to do the cloak with the color. That's okay. They'll be fine. We'll just make sure they're on red team if they win. What do we get today? Oh, the presents. They're in the air. They hit each other. They fall straight down. And, oh, wow. Oh, a minotaur. A large minotaur. A fencer. And looks like the vampire. Oh, that's strong. What comes out of this box? Oh, the minotaur just went crazy. What's coming out of that box? A gatling gun. Interesting strategy. I like what you're doing, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. It's a slow firing weapon. And the vampire is just eating something. Oh, the vampire is trying to eat the minotaur. And we have a blue victory. A blue victory? The fencer took down the charging beast? That was unexpected. I'm actually quite excited that the wobblers won that. I, I wasn't expecting that at all. Next up, we have the pumpkin punchers on the blue team. And red is always sus. Yes, the imposters are over here on the left. Who is going to win this? I'm feeling like the imposters are going to pull something crazy out of their presence today. And <laughs> speaking of crazy, here comes a long ship. What is that one? Is that the glue hands? The long ship fit in one of those presents. This is bad. This is bad for the red team. We still have one present to open up, though. And it's a cheerleader. You called in a cheerleader. Wow, that is sus. That was <laughs> that was really, really bad. The pumpkin punishers. Wow. Who would have thunk that the actual longship would be a good unit for once? And the final of the first round is the Christmas Crushers. They have to be red team. Versus the Mandalobler. I really like that. My money is on the Mandalobler facing off with the pickle people in the championship. That's what I want. The Pickle Kings versus the Mandalobler. Let's see what happens today on the battle. It goes down, the presents are out. What, is, is Baby Yoda gonna pop out of here? Okay, oh, a Scarecrow. A Scarecrow, uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no! Wow, the Scarecrow versus a Super Peasant? Wow! 
that is the way. It looks like the Jedi <laughs> wins the day. Hot dang! Red victory. Well, looks like the Mandalobalor got destroyed. I feel really bad for Mando, but I feel like even if I do it again, Mando's just going to get crushed <laughs> by a barrel roller. <laughs> really? Yeah, I don't I don't think it yeah, just Mando getting destroyed. Maybe not. Should we do this best out of 3? I feel like that's cheating. I feel no, we can't. We can't. Christmas 1. So the Pickle Kings now face off against the Wobbly Warrior in the round 2. Fight. Okay. There they go. Presents are down. The presents are down. What do we get? The pickle's over. Oh, what is that? The Clam Man. Interesting decision. Clam Man and a Berserker. Okay, versus the Painter. And a, a traditional boxer. This should be a fairly even fight. Oh, the boxer. Going strong against the... Oh. Oh, my. Oh, the, the Pickle Warrior just took somebody out. Was it a Clam Man that you just took out? This is close. I wonder if the Wobbly Warrior can throw out a second present and cheat. Oh, he's down. He's down. Wobbly Warrior versus the Berserker now. Oh, no. The Pickle People are going to win. Unless he can he can summon another present. They're hugging. They're duking it out. Don't, don't. No! Okay, well, that's good because the Pickle People won. It doesn't surprise me at all. They've called out the Super Boxer in the first round, which means we have the Pumpkin People, the Pumpkin Punchers, versus the Christmas Crushers. In the end of round two. Presents are thrown. The battle lines are drawn. And what do we get? Oh. Okay, this is a weird combination. Nothing's come out of this present yet. It could be something big. It could be something big. Oh, it is just a regular squire. Interesting combination. Oh, did he just miss? I feel like the boxer just totally missed. Oh, and the present man just got up. He was playing. He was playing dead, but he's not. Okay, the boxer's up. Oh, no. Oh no, wow, red team won whole-handedly. So that means the Pickle Kings versus the Christmas Crushers. They're kind of fitting for the time of the year, don't you think, on this snowy map? Did they get home field advantage? They might've got home field advantage. We might have to do the best out of three, but we're gonna take three different maps. Not that the map really matters at all, but here we go, begin the fight. And oh, a jouster, interesting. What do we have here? Uh, a googly-eyed something. Backflipper? Oh, and then a gunslinger. I feel like the gunslinger might do the trick. <gasps> oh, no. A bone guy. The bone guy's terrible, though. Just kidding. He died. Oh, we got... <laughs> the horse is just running around. The pickle people might win. Derpy horse. Derpy horse. <gasps> Red victory. It was home field advantage. We must go to a different map. I was thinking about a snow map, but that's still Christmas. How about something entirely neutral, like the pirate map? I like this one. We'll put the Christmas Crushers on the red side and the Pickle Kings on the left. Should I put them? I'm going to put them on the boats. That's a bad idea. I like bad ideas. All right, Pickle Kings, here's your chance to shine. You can do it. I know you have a dark peasant hiding in there. They're making it down. Looks like the Christmas Crusher forgot how to deliver presents. And round. Oh, we got the first one out. Let's see if a dark peasant pops out. Oh, nope. Um, the cannon rider. Oh, a super peasant? Really? A super peasant? That's cheating. That is straight up cheating. We got to redo that one. Super peasants aren't allowed for the Christmas people. Actually, I, I feel bad because that was best out of three. And the Christmas just wholeheadedly dominated every single round. Ta-da! <laughs> why, why did they get first advantage? Ooh. Wow. That's an interesting combination. Yeah, the sword caster. The sword caster would win, except it's a vampire. Oh, he did win. So best out of five it is. Okay, we'll go on the old legacy map. This one should be an epic battle of epic proportions. Throw the presents, throw the presents. Oh, ooh. Why is there a snake? A single snake came out. Oh, that's good news for the blue team. Oh, except Blackbeard is here with, uh, what is that one? I forget what that one is. You better kill whatever that Blackbeard is real quick if you want to win. Don't let him rain down cannonballs from above. <gasps> oh. Oh, that skeleton hurts so bad. Okay, Pickle Dude. Get rid of your snake friend. Oh, did you kill him? Are you dead yet? You better summon another present quickly or your time is over. 
Oh, your, your time is over. It looks like the Christmas Crushers are victorious in this week's tournament battle. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for all the great, amazing combinations and team names that you gave me. And we'll see you next time. Bye.